Today it's Thursday, January 19, 2023. The block, the slipped block. Like any other time, like I said, I'm checking the surface to see that it's nice and straight. I see the height of the sleeves. I see the height of the deck according to the crankshaft. All right. I'm bolting down, I'm torquing down specs, the crankshaft bearing caps and the outer bolts, obviously. Okay. You need to be tight. I don't have the torque plate, and that's why I have said before that I'm accepting 100 of millimeter plus minus on the cylinders. That means if it's 98.01 or if it's 97.99, it's acceptable because I don't have the torque plate because it's sitting, let us say, the engine on the engine stand and it's applying some forces here. So, and at the beginning when I tested with the torque plate. When you put the torque plate, it comes down to a thousand of millimeter plus minus. All right. So, like I said, 100, I will accept it. Okay. For this reason, what, what I mentioned earlier. Fine. Now, I already check what I have done up to now. I already check the stud. All right. I make one mark at six o'clock and then I'm putting it in all of them and I'm checking it again that's reaching at six o'clock. And then I'm getting some measurements to see that everything is fine. Somebody mentioned before when I was fixing, when I was um, designing, if you like, these studs, somebody mentioned that the blocks are not the same. Till now, till today, whatever block it passed through my hand, it's exactly on the correct depth. The Here, where's the threads for the bolts, for the head bolts? All right, I haven't found any difference. If I found any difference, if I see any block with a different length, I'll gonna let you know. I'll gonna be the first one that's gonna say that, you know what, yeah, I found one block with this number that's different. Up till now, I haven't found anything. I have checked both banks, bank one and bank two. It's excellent, beautiful. Uh, then, what else? With the camera, I'm checking the, the threads inside. I make sure that it's nice and clean and there is no debris inside and there is no any um, compromission or, com eh, how it's called it now this? They don't have any problem with the threads inside. <laughs> Fine. Classic after that, micrometer, setting it up, the dial board indicator um, at 98 millimeters, getting also one piston. This is the fast measurement with a 500 millimeter filler cage here, where I'm pointing. Yeah, you can see that. All right. And, and I have to support the phone somewhere to show you. Wait, it has to be on the same page, 24, 25 degrees. All right. Don't think that it's warm up the block or it's cold down or something. And this is how much I have also inside of the engine room. Inside of the engine room I have 24.6 with 50% humidity, 48% humidity and 24.2 behind the curtain. I have a sensor behind the curtain, I have shown you that before. Uh, with this bridge I check also the height the, for the sleeve the sleeve related to the uh, to the deck to the block here okay everything looks fine except the cylinder bore let me put the stand there and i'm gonna show you what i mean because i need both hands or should i put it on my yeah i'm gonna put it on my chest where you think that i'm gonna put it <laughs> wait much better now right is it better like that it might be better like this all right Piston, cylinder number one, small adjustments, come on, I tied so much, dang it, there you go, cylinder number one, I'm placing it 9 and 6 o'clock, eh, 9, 2, 9 and 3 o'clock, right, so, 500 millimeter, and it sits there the piston. Cylinder number two, looking good, that's a rough measurement, just to see a couple of things. Here it sits more up on the number three cylinder, and that's the number five, that I can pass it even down, I'm not, I'm not pushing it, just don't want to fell inside the piston, you see, it's just dropping inside. It's within a hundred? Yeah. Cylinder number one. 
12 to 6 o'clock. All right. 12 or 6 o'clock, I can pass the piston inside. Number two, same thing. What does it mean that one? That the cylinders are like an egg. On the number four, it's not passing down. <sighs> Let's get the dial board cage. Right? Measuring more out, more out, more out. When you see zero here, it's at 98 milliliters. Just a second. Now, number one cylinder, it's more tight by 200 millimeter. Okay, at this point. Second cylinder, a little bit more than 200. No, 200, same like the number one. Number three, 300 more tight. At this point, it's at 300 millimeter, almost 400. It's, I don't know if you can see the little, there. Okay. And the number four, it's more tight by a little bit more than a hundred millimeter. Then, <coughs> number one cylinder, a little bit less than a hundred. Same here, it's a little bit greater than 98 by a couple of thousand of a millimeter, and here it's more tight than 98 by a couple of thousand of a millimeter again. Here, the number four cylinder, it's more tight by 200 of a millimeter. And at the bottom, a little bit more than a hundred of a millimeter. Now, like I said, without the torque plate, I'm gonna say, okay, hundred millimeter plus minus, it will gonna be reasonable. Fine. On an open deck with the sleeves, it will gonna be fine. Nothing more than hundred and nothing less than hundred. So in one case, I have 300 millimeter, almost four. I have 0 0.035 of millimeter on the number three cylinder, if I remember right. Let me see that again. Here it's okay. On the third cylinder it was. Yes, on the third cylinder here. And near to the top dead center. That's much more critical. All this, all what's happening inside the combustion chamber, the explosion, the temperatures, all the event, the ignition timing, it's happening almost at this point. All right, and it's critical. It doesn't have to be tight. All right, like I said, one second to pull it away. I'm trying to make it to see it from both sides. So I'm gonna call it 0 0.036, 0 0.036 to 37 of millimeter there. All right, so for this reason, I said, bring me the torque plate from the machine shop. I need the torque plate, I need to bolt it down, get again some measurements. And if it's again, <clears throat> if it's not okay, I'm gonna mount also the cylinder head from this side. I'm gonna put the torque plate from one side, mounting the cylinder head from this side, to get again measurements, just in case. To me, it looks like that we will gonna scrap a brand new sleeves because I doubt to come down from a 300 millimeter to zero. Or I will gonna send it back and we'll see if they can. Yeah, it's more tight. Yeah, they might be able to fix it. In any case, I'm not gambling because first, it's not my property. 
all right? Second, the, it's getting involved so much money, and I don't want to make bullshit. I can close it, I can throw it everything in, it's not gonna be right. And that's the reason why sometimes it doesn't matter how much you are in hurry, all right? It doesn't matter anything, you have to put everything aside. If it's not right something, you stop, and you see what went wrong, either you're gonna fix it, or you're gonna replace it. All right, that's what I have to say. I might continue checking down for the crankshaft, just don't have any surprise later on. All right, but I'm very disappointed, especially on the sleeve number three. And I haven't even go to the bank two. Let, let me make it up, let me, let me bring up the bank two to have a look also there, since we're already here, right? Why not? Will you gonna pause for me, please? All right, not responding the phone. <laughs> Amazing. All right, bank two up, seeing the number five. Let's have a look on it. Almost 200 millimeter more tight. 100 millimeter more tight. 200 millimeter more tight. Shit. Cylinder number six here. Three hundred. Oh boy. You know what? I hope that when I'm gonna mount also on this one, more than three hundred. On the number seven. Here it's two hundred. I hope that when I'm gonna mount the torque plate, this is perfect zero here. Same thing here. It's more tight by 100 millimeter. How the fuck up like that? I might be wrong, okay? I might be wrong. And when it comes to the torque plate, I'm gonna mount it. I'm gonna torque it down. I'm gonna check that again. And I'm not gonna stop even there. Like I said, I'm gonna mount also the other cylinder head. I might remove it completely from the stand and place it on the table to support it from the brackets that it has here for the engine mount to get all the to get, be relaxed on the position where how it sits in the car on the cross member. Dang it! Dang it! To me, it's, all this is a waste of time. It's supposed to be okay. I'm supposed to double check the measurements to see that everything is fine and move on with my job and not have to deal with all this. But if you don't fuck around, you're never gonna know. You're never gonna find out, right? Fuck around, find out. That's how it works. In any case, somebody else, he might close his eyes and he might close the engine because he might say that, you know what, yeah, from the machine shop they said it's okay and I can go ahead. Not for me, I'm sorry. Thank you very much, have a good day. I will not gonna have a good day. I will gonna have a waste of time. Thank you.